the artist colony with a very talented glass blowing artist, Sheva Chaya. Hello and uh, welcome. welcome. It's nice to meet you. Shalom, nice to meet you too. Shalom, shalom. So from Denver, Colorado to the, the hills of Sfat, Israel, how did your journey get you to this very special spot known for very talented artists? Uh, it's, it's quite a journey. I found my way here um, just visiting, the first couple of times visiting, and found my way back here, and one time said to myself, I have to think about living here. It's such a special place. It just felt so, I don't know, pure and, and inspiring, really. So what is it about the, the energy? I mean, we know this is a mystical city. All kinds of things can happen. But what is it? Is it something you could put into words, the, the energy that, that really like lends itself to really channeling this, this creative process in a way that would be different if you were not in spot maybe um, it's, I would say here there's a real there's a there's space there's quiet there's the beauty of nature's a big ex expansive view um, that you can see from just about anywhere different angles on it and there's the there's the spiritual tradition here that whether or not you can see it you feel it you know it's like bubbling it's in through the ethers. yeah yeah Breathing explain on um, your process I mean was this something that you developed before you made Aliyah to Israel, or is this something that you found upon living here? Uh, well, I got into art before I came to Israel, but pretty much on my way, I got into painting, painting with oils, I switched to watercolors, and the glass blowing I really started just when I came to Tzfat about 15 years ago. And I just loved it the first time I tried it. I was just so intrigued by the glowing glass, the flowing glass, that you could do anything with glass. I never really thought of that before. And then I realized there's a real connection to Tzfat. Tzfat's a city of air, a holy city. You actually blow the glass. Um, there's a great flow here. So it all really started to flow together. Which is all very, sounds like just very holistic, the whole. Yeah, the, it's the been whole. an incredible journey. Have really you been well. able to combine your, the, the painting with the glass blowing? Or are they kind of two separate mediums for you? Yeah, they really flow one to the other. The one inspires the other, one affects the other. I've come to really start to like paint on glass with glass, um, kind of merging them together. And for sure, they, 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 they're connected. They've been connected from the beginning, and they keep you know, kind of speaking to each other, informing each other. Wow. Yeah. What, uh, any any uh, work hazards when you're, when you're dealing with fire? I mean, are you, uh, do you have like, yeah. you know, a lot um, of everything's good. You, you have to be careful. There's, you know, there's the rules, and you have to follow them. It's pretty serious consequences if you don't. But uh, you learn, and from the beginning, I really thought, you know, I'll train myself to be careful so that I can flow with it as much as possible and not worry. And I'm at a point now, you know, it's, I've been into it long enough, there's a certain amount of just, it's kind of become my nature to be careful, so mm -hmm. I can kind of focus more on what I'm doing. Right, amazing. And are you, are you creating every day? I try to, except for Shabbos, yeah, try wow. to every day. Amazing. So there are yeah. other days that you just have, like, you know what, I just need to chill out and just sit in bed and watch TV today? Or are you, are you um, really like every day? It's not really my feel... style. I try, <laughs> I try every day to do at least something. There's mm -hmm. days that I'm less motivated. There's days that I get into a flow and time goes by and I spend a big chunk of time working. And there's days that I have to get myself up to do anything, but I try to still do something yeah. every day. Thank you so much for uh, taking the time to do this interview, and uh, best of luck, and, and hopefully next time when I see you, the world will be open again. Yeah, thank you so much. Of Thanks course. for coming. Come again. I will, I will. <laughs>